Hey guys, uh, Jamie here, and I am back with another video. Today is August 3rd, and it's a Friday, and that means that school is starting again in less than a month, which is absolutely crazy because I feel like this summer has flown by. So since it is so close to the school year starting again, I thought that for today's video, I would make a video about tips for incoming freshmen. Some of these tips are specifically for Northeastern, but some of them can apply to other schools as well. It's basically stuff that I feel like I learned during my freshman year and it might be beneficial for people to know before they come to Northeastern. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so I split my advice up into four different categories just to kind of keep it a bit organized. So the categories that I'm going to be talking about are campus life, friends, classes, and of course dining. So first I'm going to start out with campus life. The first thing that I have to say to incoming freshmen is that the first few weeks you're going to be in college are definitely the hardest. However, it is totally worth it. The second tip that I want to say is you do not need to pack as many things as you think you do. I am very guilty of this, but I overpacked tremendously for my first year. You don't need as much clothes as you think. A lot of the decorations you're going to get, you're not going to use past your first year so I would recommend not investing a ton of money into them and for me at least I didn't need as much school supplies as I thought. I very much did all of my work on my computer and I never ended up using a lot of the school stationery type stuff I had bought so that might not be true for everyone and it definitely depends on what you're studying but for me I took computer science and art classes and I did not need those supplies. Another thing for campus life on Northeastern is that for the first few weeks of the semester, I recommend going outside as much as possible. So that means doing things like hanging out on Centennial, going to parks, things like that. And the reason I say that is because once it gets cold in Boston, it does not get warm again until pretty much the last week of spring semester. So you want to enjoy the nice weather while you can. If you're interested, I recommend buying a hammock because a ton of people use them on Centennial. Just throwing that out there. And finally, the other campus life tip that I have is to get used to using the tunnels. So in my opinion, they're really underutilized. But when it is freezing and disgusting out in Boston in the winter, you're going to be so happy that they are there. All right, so the next category that I wanted to talk about is making friends, which is one of the most stressful things about starting college in my opinion, especially those first few weeks, everyone just wants to make friends. So go for it. Definitely nice to find people those first few weeks to go to meals with, to hang out with. These people might end up being long-term friends. If not, you will find your group eventually. Always check the school calendar online to see what kind of free events are going on around campus. There's almost always free stuff at them. Little pro tip right there. Also, there's an app to figure out when there's free food on campus. Uh, I think it's hilarious. Basically, people just post when there's free food around campus and then people show up and eat it. My last tip for friends is to not be afraid to join different activities. At Northeastern and other schools, there are so many activities to choose from, so don't be afraid to try new things and to keep going to the meetings. It's a great way to meet new people, especially people that won't be in the same classes as you or the same year as you, but you share common interests, so that's really cool. I think it really helps because my fall semester, I didn't join that many activities and it definitely made it harder to meet new people. Okay, so the third category that I wanted to talk about is classes. This one is pretty short, but I feel like they are pretty important tips. If you are anything like me, high school was not that hard and I made the mistake of assuming that college would be the same way and let me tell you, it is not. I'm not entirely sure for stuff that I haven't studied, but for the classes that I've taken for computer science and even my art classes, they've been much more difficult and time consuming than I had expected. In high school, I was the kind of person that could finish work really quickly. That is not the case anymore. I have to dedicate a lot of time to finishing my assignments. So my number one tip would be to keep up with your classwork. Don't let yourself fall behind because it will be so hard to catch up. Another tip that I found personally for me is that I do not study well in my room. It is way too distracting. My bed is right there and all I want to do is take a nap. So I would recommend finding other places on campus to study. 
I really like to study in curry on the red couches in the main area and also in ISEC because it is so fancy. You can go to the library but it's really crowded all the time. I really don't know why such a large university has such a small library. Of course if you need to use color printers or you need the computer software there, you don't have a choice, but it's not my first choice. Alright, so finally the last category of advice that I wanted to talk about is dining. Uh, so pretty much the food on campus. And the food honestly gets pretty old pretty fast. So my first tip is to go to Cafe Crossing and Rebecca's whenever you can. Objectively, it is the best food on campus. Rebecca's has a lot of pre-made stuff you can get. Cafe Crossing is underneath IB and it's build your own style. It's not unlimited food as if you were in a dining hall, but the quality of the food is much better. And speaking of Rebecca's and Cafe Crossing, make sure that you know when to go to them. So if you plan on going in between classes, you might as well not go. The line is going to be out the door and it is crazy long. You want to find a time to go that is off peak so usually that's in the middle of a class period, and that's when you'll be able to get your food within a reasonable time. Also, before I talk about the dining halls, some of you might know that Northeastern has this thing called Outtakes, and basically it's like a convenience store that you can use to trade in your swipes to get basic groceries. And the idea of it is that you can use up your swipes at the end of the week um, if you have any left over. Here is a pro tip. Do not go to outtakes on Saturday. That is the last day of the week and the meal plan resets at midnight. So that means everyone and their mother is in outtakes and the line is enormous and it's not always very well stocked. So that means there's pretty much not gonna be anything that you wanna get there unless you're willing to buy old dining hall food that they reserve go earlier in the week, which I know is kind of inconvenient because then you have to plan out when you're going to use the rest of your swipes, but that's the only way you're going to be able to buy stuff you actually want. All right, so on to dining halls. So my favorite is Stetson East, and then we have Ivy, and then Stetson West. For most freshmen, it seems that people like Ivy the most as opposed to Stetson East, but for me, I ate an Ivy every day, so I enjoyed Stetson East more. People that eat in Stetson East every day like Ivy more. But personally, I felt like Stetson East had more options and it was more reliable to have good food. Stetson East always has an omelet station, which is pretty reliable if you can't find anything else that you want to eat. Also, the cookies are better at Stetson East. I have two specific tips about Ivy Dining Hall, and the first one is don't go to eat if it's around 11.30 to noonish, and that's because they're crossing over from breakfast to lunch and there's like no food anywhere to have. The second thing is to be wary of the sushi. In IV, there's a sushi bar, and that might seem too good to be true, and that's because it is. They're always experimenting with weird stuff that they put in the sushi, so make sure you read the sign before you take it, because usually it's not something you really want in your sushi. <laughs> the best one is the sweet potato rolls, so if you see that, make sure that you get it. Uh, this isn't really a pro tip, it's more like a pro warning, but IV is known for doing this thing called mashed potato pizza, and basically they just put mashed potato on pizza crust and put cheese on top. Avoid it at all costs, it's disgusting. I know it doesn't even sound good, but I thought that I would try it so, so, so bad. So my final tip regarding dining halls is if you aren't specifically planning time to eat meals during the week and you're not a student athlete or something like that, I would recommend going on the 10 meal a week plan. For me and my friends, the 14 swipe a week plan ended up being way too much. I was not in the dining hall nearly that much. I would try to use up the rest of my swipes at outtakes, but you can only swipe three times a day there and every week I ended up losing swipes, and that sucks because the meal plan costs a lot of money. So that's all I really have to say for tips for incoming freshmen. Um, I know it was a lot, but I hope it helps any of you if you're incoming freshmen uh, to college, to Northeastern. So that's it for today, and I will see you next time.